Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the, uh, we gotta get the, the fireplace in the back. We gotta get the fireplace in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Today's podcast, the best podcast in my mind. Uh, today, we are going to do another Tendy Talks episode. What are we gonna do the Tendy Talks episode about? Great question. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. So I do have uh, some ideas. I do have some ideas in my mind. Uh, about what is going to happen, what we're going to talk about. Um, I don't think it's going to be a super long episode. To be fair, the attendees episodes I usually don't take as long. I am still trying to get a couple guests on, but right now I am currently finishing college. So by the time this episode comes out on Friday, uh, I will be officially done all my college classes and I will be going into my field placement. Um... Which me? If you see me looking over here, that's where my I like looking at myself. <laughs> Shoddy. Uh, what that means is I will be done any sort of classes for this program or for the advertising program. Um, I seem to be doing well. Going so by the time this episode comes out, uh, this Friday. It'll be going, it'll be then led to, oh man. So Friday, my last class technically is tomorrow, Thursday. I'm recording this on the Wednesday. So tomorrow, Thursday will be my last class. Uh, I just have a test that I'm done. Friday, this will be coming out at 4.30. And then the Monday morning at like nine, I start my field placement. What does that mean for content? I don't know yet. I'm trying to pump out as much content as I can. As long as I have time to record somewhere in between, which I, oh, which I should, we should be fine. We should be fine. So what is this episode going to be talking about? Uh, I want to talk about my... <laughs> Way to be so uh, not selfish here. Talk about myself. Talk about my channel. Uh, talk about all the projects that I've ever done in the past. Um, and talk about, you know, why I did them, how I did them, things like that. So the topics we're going to cover, I should probably write this down somewhere. I'll write this down as I say them in my phone. So the topics we're going to be cover, covering is my five my five channels um the podcast podcasts uh live streaming and then just uploading in general just uploading in general so i guess we can start out with the five channels for those who don't know i I technically own five channels. I own them. I have the email. But I am partial or full owner of five channels. So we have Chicken Tenny Gaming, which is this channel. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Spotify, Amazon Music, or uh, iHeartRadio, it's my main YouTube channel. Tenny2, which is my uh, second YouTube channel. Concession Stand Podcast, Savin Carter. Um, or concession and network, Savin Carter, and the Royals and Brief. We'll start out with my channel, my main channel. So this all started three years, f- over three years ago. I, I've probably told this story a thousand times. I don't know if I've told it on here. Probably, probably not. So I wanted to do YouTube for the longest time ever. I wanted to talk about or make gaming content since it was what I was interested in. I wanted to build up a brand. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I then came out. uh, It was... I was talking with Dom. Mostly Dom. uh, And he's like, make a channel. Make a channel. We can do this. We can have fun. Blah, blah, blah. Going on from that, we started to build... I I started slowly to make things. So I made... I I downloaded it. It was called GIMP. It's like a fake photo. Like a, 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 a... rip off photoshop which works relatively nice just photoshop i find is nicer 
um, I went in and I made that the original logo, which you can still kind of find on the thumbnails of my channel. You actually might be able to find it on Google too. But you can find it on my Instagram. Look up Chicken Tenny Gaming. You'll be able to see my scroll down. I don't know where it is. You'll be able to find it uh, if you're interested, of course. So I decided that that would have been a fun thing. So I made the logo. I made the email and I made the channel. I didn't do anything with it because one of my main pushbacks was from my parents. They just want me to be safe. And I understand that. I get that full heartedly. They wanted me to be, um, you know, don't do this. And, and they wanted me to kind of keep my security. I've had problems with people online before. It was messed, messed up. So I decided, yeah, I was like, okay. I made it anyways. And I went to my mom. I made it uh, December 31st. Made it uh, December 31st, just COVID, COVID 2021, I think. Well, it was like that New Year's, right? I made it that New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, whatever. Um, and I went to my mom and I said, I have made the channel. I have everything there. I need these two things off Amazon. And I can do it. And she looks at me and she goes, don't say your name. Don't say where you live. Don't swear. I can do... Oh, and don't show my face. Well, I broke my first name. Uh, I didn't break where I live. Uh, and I broke the face rule and the swearing. Okay, well, okay, I broke her rules. But I had the channel, and I decided to go with it. Uh, and along with that, it decided... Um, Along with that, in the beginning, I was all over the place with the content. I did hockey. I did Uno. I did baseball. I did. I basically do what I do now, and I play what I have. I wanted to do Call of Duty, um, except at the time, I had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. So, arguably one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. Fight me. I was. I didn't play Call of Duty during the peak of Black Ops, the Black Ops Modern Warfare saga. I didn't fight me on that. I. I play them now. I don't like how they handle. I'll stand by that. Fight me in the comments. I'm just kidding. Don't fight me. I'm just, I'm, I'm scaled. Uh, so I decided to make that, and I start I, I, at the time. I wanted to make more. I wanted to try Call of Duty content and a couple shooters, and uh, even like GTA because that's kind of what I was watching at the time. I'm like, oh, I can totally make. And then you get to GTA, and you I, what I do? I get in. I go to the casino. I deliver cars, and I get off the game. Nothing interesting there. Call of Duty, I wasn't any good. But at the time, my Call of Duty wasn't actually working. So, PS4, uh, you have to download these packs. Uh, and the packs kind of just say, it, it's like render, it's like shaders, basically. And it lets you access the game. Because it's broken up in little bits. I wanted to play. They wouldn't let me. Uh, I couldn't actually download the pack. Until finally one day down the road, they let me. But... um. I just couldn't for the life of me. I couldn't download it. So I was like, oh, wow. Well. I was playing Modern War uh, World War II at the time, and I, yeah, that might be my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. Fight me on that. The campaign was goaded. Um, definitely favorite Call of Duty campaign. Anyways, so I started doing that more, and I started building up more, almost more of a following. Uh, I think I got to about 200 subscribers, give or take ish and i said okay this is my gaming channel this is my main channel this is what everything's gonna be on let's make a second channel so along with making chicken tendy gaming uh i also made tendy 2 what did tendy 2 involve it tried to be more of like a vlog irl kind of all of that channel where you can kind of touch on little different things it got to the point where i made it i had fun i'm like oh this is kind of cool i did vlogs i say vlogs because they weren't vlogs they were the first half of my day and then i'd forget to record and it, it went bad it was bad uh so i decided okay let's figure it out so then i started uploading so that channel originally was for like irl content it did not go that well. I decided that, okay, 
now let's turn it into, I think this might be a little bit of a different idea, unedited footage and VODs from my Twitch streams. One of the unedited, like, raw footage did really well. It was the NHL 23 first gameplay. That one did well. My edited video did not well. Didn't do as well. Uh, I did not. I put. I think I put, like, four videos on there. And I'm like, okay, this is, okay. It's, it's more work for me to go through. We had, I ended up stopping that, and I stopped putting my VODs on there because I have to go and I have to download them, make up a thumbnail, come up with the name, and go through. And it, it was I might end up putting VODs back on there. Um, we'll see. I honestly I don't know. Uh, and then I just started making kind of those like commentary kind of channel. I I made the water talk video, and that one did well. And I'm like, okay, I'll kind of stick with this, but I'm not gonna. I didn't. I wasn't planning on uploading it daily. Like, it would be a once a month, once every other month type shtick, and it would kind of something like that, right? Uh, and it's that's kind of where it is now. I have ideas in my phone about where, about what I'm going to make. Uh, I think with me, though, I need to find the energy and the time to do it now that I'm stupid busy. So on that, it might not be as much. My podcast network. Concession Stand Network originally started out as a Concession Stand podcast. The idea for that was me and my buddy Jonah, Fry Gang Gaming, go make a podcast about sports, sports news, sports topics, a bunch of anything that's happening just in the world of sports. There was no, there was no specification, no, no specifics to what sport we're focusing on. It was just in general, like every place has a concession stand, so we'll talk about every sport. Um, and then it kind of just divulged into baseball and hockey and the sports that we mostly watch. Uh, but that naturally came with it. And then I decided to start and briefly start, and I'll get into this in a minute, briefly start a podcast about wrestling. Um, as of now, the two episodes that are on there are going to stay. But we're not going to be posting on that anymore for reasons I don't want to get into um, unless I find whatever, but we're, it's, that's done. So then we're, uh, the, I would say the, conce the concession stand podcast itself is not done that we just don't have the time to record. We're both really busy. And then when something happens, we kind of miss it by like two minutes. Anyways. Um, then there's that. So the, that's just a podcast that's also on Spotify. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go check it out. And then we move on to Savin Carter, which is mine and my girlfriend's YouTube channel. Uh, that <laughs> it started with a TikTok because we thought it would be funny and we did a couple of videos and they got, did, it did relatively good. And then we're like, oh, let's start a YouTube channel. Sure. We live streamed on it and we said, that's good enough. We did a video and we just haven't, we're not the type of people, we're not the couple that likes, like, I like to record with her, but only when we've seen each other for, like, three days straight. Like, if I, if I see, if I'm seeing her for a couple hours, I don't want to waste my time recording with her. I just want to spend my time with her, right? So, if we've, if, if we've been whatever, we have the time, we'll do it. But if we don't have the time, then it's like, well... Okay, moving on. Uh, so we're still together. <laughs> if anyone's ever subbed that one, we're still together. Uh, that one is... I'm going to put my hood down. It's bothering me. Uh, that one is... that we're, We just... We haven't... We just forgot, honestly. We're, we're Again, we're also the people that when we are... We say we're going to do something, we'll just forget. <laughs> like, there's... It's, it's nothing more than that. Uh, same thing with the TikTok. It's a bunch of ideas that I have, and then it's kind of like, well... Nah, my hair looks weird today. I'm actually getting a haircut right, based it in a like right after this. So, uh, yeah, so that that channel, and then we're gonna move on to a final channel that I own, and some news around that too. That I didn't want to, I didn't know how to make the, the, the episode around it, um, but. 
the uh, Royals in Brief. That was a group started with my friends. Uh, it was a, a mostly my idea, but it was c- pitched in with a couple other people uh, in the group. Uh, and then we decided, you know, we came up with names and whatever and pitched it. And it was mostly mostly me. And I can stand by this. And one of the other people in the group may disagree with me heavily on that. But everyone else can kind of agree with me. Uh, it was mostly me. I came up with the, a lot of uh, every creative you saw, every thumbnail. I did the editing in the beginning. Hank, we gave it to him, but he, uh, it kind of just, we, with that channel now, again, the videos are going to stay up, but we're not going to be posting on it anymore. Don't want to get into it, but it's still kind of the same reasons as the other one. Um, so for anyone who's listening, whoop de do. Uh, but it's, it's still up there. So if you want to watch it, you can go watch it. There may be a day where we come back, but that's not in my hands. That's in other people's hands. Uh, so yeah, we will figure that out. If we do end up coming back, it might be looking different. Uh, We, we don't know yet. So we'll see where that goes from there. So yeah, those are my five channels. So the my main channel which was started out just because uh i wanted to start it second channel was started because i wanted to most more irl content the concession stand network podcast whatever was because i wanted a podcast talk about sports um the seven carter was because my girlfriend and i had a tiktok and we wanted to continue that and the royals and briefs was just we wanted to upload videos together we thought it'd be kind of fun but uh, those are the five channels. So moving on. Oh, I'm dying here. We're going to be talking about actually my f- four podcasts. This should be a little breeze over since we've already kind of discussed it. Um, The original Let's Talk Denny's podcast was started when I had around 50 subscribers and was a complete live stream. We've talked about this many times before. Uh, ended up stopping it after just it not i lost interest it was not that fun uh and that last one of the final live streams it just went to it just went it, it was it i lo- i lost that's one of the final i don't think it was the final one but i think it was one of the last two last three where i lost complete interest uh then i brought it back again for this just because i wanted to fill that void again my friend was starting a podcast i thought let's bring back my podcast let's revamp it let's take it more professionally So that's where, again, I started posting on Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio. Again, that's where you can find it. And YouTube. The toss-up between... The the only problem with that was coming up where to post it on because I was tossed between my channels. I was tossed between my channel, starting a new channel, and my second channel. So I wasn't sure why I wanted to do that. I decided, you know, let's keep it with the tradition of the last one. Let's keep it and let's go with my main channel. That's where it'll get the best exposure anyway. So let's do it there. Uh, concession Stand podcast. Again, we started me and Jonah. We wanted to start a sports podcast. It was a, literally a 11, 11 p.m. decision. Like, hey, let's start a podcast. Okay. And we went on from there. Um, love you, Jonah. He's awesome. Great sports knowledge. He's great. with. He has a bunch of ideas when it comes to, you know, day of recording. He goes, I want to talk about this, this, and this. Sweet. Let's talk about it. And then I make the the thumbnails, upload it. We have our own oil spots. Uh, down the ramp, it was cool for the it was it was cool for the two episodes. But again, wrestling news kind of goes and comes, and it changes so much. And same with sports, it changes so much that when you already upload it, the news either has faded or there's new information that you didn't cover. Then you look like the idiot. Um, so yeah, again, that one is for now done. Um, the original idea with that, we had true story. I think it was talked in the first episode. We did record a first episode and it was supposed to go on my channel because why I still do not know. The original idea was let's make another channel. I I wanted to make, I, I, I wanted to make another channel for it. 
truth be told, I like making a lot of channels, mostly because I like starting new things and not finishing it. Can you tell by my all my NHL series? So, <laughs> um, I I want to make another channel. The other person involved didn't want to make another channel, so we ended up. He didn't want to post on his channel because at the time I was just surpassing him. Then he wanted the exposure, which if we ever get into that conversation down the line, we can talk about it on the podcast. If he has a problem with it, he can fight me. Uh, he'll lose. He knows he'll lose. So the we were going to post it, and it was back when CM Punk basically won the AEW Champion. So that long ago. Like a year and a half ago. Um, he didn't want to post it on his channel, he wanted to post it on mine. And so I said I fold down like sure. Then when we came up with the idea to bring it back with the whole new branding, uh, we decided Yeah, and he wanted it to post on my channel. I said, No, we're posting it on this other channel. And I'm like, it is something that I don't wanna completely promote on only my channel. There's a reason that if you noticed at the the concession stand network channel changed from just the podcast to the network, which then the idea for the concession stand network channel was to get other versions of podcasts by different people. So we wanted to, or my idea for it was to get maybe some people who talked F1, talked only baseball, talk. Then again, we're not that big on it. Like it's 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 a slow channel, it's a small channel. We're not. We're like okay, cool. If if it took off, it took off. If not, it not. Like we're we need to get back on the grind. But we're busy. We understand. Um. So we ended up going with that, and we just made a separate playlist, separate separate podcast on Spotify. Said good enough. Um. So yeah. I've technically started four podcasts because this, the Tendies podcast is, it's separate. It's almost like Full House and Fuller House, if that makes sense. Like Full House is one thing, Fuller House is another thing, but it's a continuation. So it's a spinoff almost, but it's better. It's more well-rounded. It's got a border. Look at the border. It's cool. In in person recording, I have a full like TV thing that I could have put up there, but I don't want to go through Amazon Photos and put it up there because that takes too long. Um. So yeah, basically that is all of my podcasts. I guess it's it's something that you know dabbled in. I think if this if I took this a little more seriously and I had a co-host, I'm I am currently trying to figure out a co-host. I do want to get my girlfriend on it because. <laughs> We were talking about starting a podcast. Surprise, surprise, because a lot of our conversations could be great podcast stories. So there may be a day where we end up uh, making a podcast, making this our podcast and just using the branding and she becomes a co-host. Hopefully that's the day. Uh, I think it's more of a time where we need to like almost live together and we can set up a studio. Right. So um, moving on. There's a little insight of what might happen in the future. Moving on, we're going to be talking about uh, live streams, my how I live stream. Again, if you are interested in learning more about how I do things, let me know. I can always talk about it. Uh, wow, because I have a podcast, I can like talk about it. Whoa, how ironic. Um, so the, the, the idea for live streaming, I wasn't originally supposed to live stream. Uh, I started on Twitch two years ago. Two and a half years ago. Uh, and it was basically just me streaming Call of Duty with Jonah and Calum. For those who remember Calum, Fo- Doozy X Waffle. At the time, my buddy Calum, I didn't know he streamed, uh, but he was doing well. He was doing, uh, at the time, he was doing uh rocket league and he was doing he did pretty well he's actually i think he's still like on my twitch as one of my buddies um he it was covid covid era and we wanted to pop in and we we're like all right let's stream cod together and we stream cod together, and we'd stream for like five hours look it was it, it's covid i don't have to go to school the next day i was in my basement i streamed for five hours a day and i didn't get any followers i still don't get that but 
probably just because I'm not interesting. I was called pleasantly boring. Did you guys know I was called pleasantly boring? I posted about it. It baffles me. Anyways, um, so it basically started out with learning how to stream, but not through a computer. So where I used to stream uh, was in my basement. In my basement, once you get past... You might, guys might remember where I used to, like, where I kind of record, recorded and streamed, um, kind of like when I wasn't in my room because this room is getting renovated. Uh, you guys might remember there. So, basically, that is the cutoff for where the Wi-Fi reaches. So, anything past that, it was, it's bad. It doesn't work. It's like half the speed of where kind of my desk was originally. Um, so with that being said, I decided, um, let's just stream right off PlayStation. I had an ethernet cord that my dad used for his work because we would share the same desk. I plugged it right in and I said, perfect, we're streaming from here. So I didn't have any overlays. Uh, I had my laptop open beside me to read chat. and to see who would follow right um I, that's all i had didn't have a camera i didn't again at the time i was faceless um but it was it was one of those things where it's it, you sit there and you're like okay um but i can only talk through game chat which was a big problem because Caleb and i would be mid discussion in the lobby and oh we're loading in and then he would disappear for 30 seconds I'd be sitting there like, hey, guys, what's going on? Like, I, <laughs> you know, not used to being in front of a camera as much. It was it was difficult, right? Um, now I can almost kind of get away with it. When I play something like COD, I kind of get in vet, like I get focused unless I'm talking with somebody. So that when, I, when I'm talking with somebody, it kind of keeps me grounded. I'll, I'll say that. When I'm by myself playing COD, I'm screwed. Like, I, I, I'm focused. I'm not even looking at chat. Which sucks too, because then it turns off viewers. Anyway, so I started streaming on you. Then, then we did that. So I started streaming like uh, every now and then, and and it would you know almost daily, but for five hours a day. My my old streams were five hours. Then I started streaming hockey around kind of the playoffs, and from there we went, and it, it was okay. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, I kind of miss it, low key. I kind of miss streaming for five hours a day. It gave me something to do. Um, I remember growing. I remember hitting fifty subscribe or fifty followers, and then I hit a hundred. <laughs> so I I grinded for affiliate, and then I basically said, "Okay, I did what I need to do. I'll chill out." And I didn't stream after that. Now I'm starting. I I I with school. I'm not able to come. May, May June. I will probably be able to stream more. Do not hold me on that. Uh, by the time this video comes out, actually, the day today, I should be on a stream with Molo. I will text him about it today, but I should be streaming with him. So I might clip that and put it on my channel. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I started streaming on twitch and then i would do kind of series on youtube which should let me know if i should bring that idea back stream on youtube stream series on youtube i don't mind i think it'd be kind of fun uh stream different game series i uh, remember i did spider-man and i never finished it so we could always bring that back um i did wrestling but wrestling you know it's kind of the music and stuff like that it's not as cool <laughs> but we, we could find series is Sirius is Cyrus. We can figure we can figure something out. Um so I would stream I streamed Toy Story 3, which was a big one for me to stream, and it was fun. It did well. Um and that was kind of during my like games where I played when I was younger era and it was it was fun. Uh I remember streaming Wally. I was Spider-Man I streamed and that was fun. Then I streamed Wally, and uh, I got stuck on a level, and I said I I actually rage quit Wally because I could not find where to go. 
like imagine uh i still have not touched the game since <laughs> i can't even I, I i don't even want to go back and finish it if i if i do end up going back and finishing it you should be proud of me uh so uh, i started streaming on youtube and then i stopped for a while uh mostly because i would only use Streamlabs, and it would be like you'd have to you'd have to switch it every time and it was a pain and i'm like like i don't want to go through and and switch it every time uh if i want to share money so i just stuck to uh twitch then when kick came out and it started doing well i was like okay i'll switch to kick and i did a kick stream every now and then like it was here and literally there like it would be like it, it's there and then way down the road um uh, but it was it was okay now uh i brought i i used to stream on oh i used to record everything and stream everything on obs then i switched to Streamlabs, and i stuck with Streamlabs for a while so i've learned i like recording on Streamlabs because it's less problems but i like to stream on obs and the reason for that is there's a thing i use called restream Restream is basically I can go and I can stream anywhere I want that they support. As long as it's I can stream multi-stream to two places without paying. OBS or Streamlabs, I would have to pay about $150 a year to multi-stream. This it's free for two places. And I don't plan on streaming anywhere more than two two places at most. So I decided that's a that's sure, I'll do that. Um from there, where it's kind of where we are now. So I stream. I'll usually stream Twitch Kick. I want to stream Twitch YouTube or uh, Twitch TikTok, but I don't have a thousand follow. So follow me, please. I want. I want to do TikTok live streams. I think it would be kind of fun. I just need the followers. I'm at like 350 right now. So if you if you're interested, sauce a follow. Um please go down follow it uh other than that i mean it's 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 it my streaming in the beginning was heavy i used to stream daily for five hours a day and then i'd be whatever right um and then once i got more into school my streaming would slow down and then it would pick up and then during the summer because i was working it would slow down again and and then it picked up more and then with classes and work it just slowed down so it's 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 been tough to try to find the time and energy to stream but when i do i try my best to make it and i guess we can do the last little topic which is live streams no uploading i'm tired it's 11 in the morning and i've been up since seven i know that's really early but i'm tired uh so uploading uh i used to upload daily I figured out quickly that I could not support that habit. <laughs> so then I would upload like every other day. And that worked for me for a while. Um, I would have a day to record and edit a bunch of videos. And I would periodically place them. Uh, and then I got to the point where I actually just could not record a bunch of videos in one. I still can't kind of record one bunch of videos in one. Because uh, after I do one, I say that's good enough. And I move on. There's a very rare time when I record more than one video at a time. Um, so then I, which I switched to weekly videos. And then work picked up, so I switched to monthly videos. And then it, it's kind of been fluctuating. I've been trying to stick to, currently, I've been trying to stick to bi-weekly podcast, bi-weekly video. So alternating podcast video podcast video podcast video like i've been trying to stick with that um so far it's been going well i need to figure out a day i need days to actually sit and record starting next week i might not be able to put up as many either podcast or videos so be aware of that uh but yeah so if you guys are interested in that I think we're good there. Let me know what else you think I should talk about more. If you want to hear more about me, more stories, whatever. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching.
subscribe, follow, and uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. I don't know what we're talking about. We might do another tier list. I kind of like that tier list idea. It was kind of fun. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. <gasps> Peace.